In this video, we'll review how to debug remote game lift servers within your fleet. In order to do this, we first have to have AWS Command Line Interface, or CLI, installed. Then we have to create a user with game lift permissions. And then finally, we'll connect to the game lift server. To connect to the servers from your computer, you need to have AWS CLI installed. If you already have this, skip ahead to the next section. Otherwise, go to the AWS CLI install instructions page and select the topic for your operating system. You can either install using the downloadable install package or through a few command line operations. Use the one you're most comfortable with. I'm not going to go through these steps as I already have it installed, but it's pretty straightforward. Once you think you've got it installed, use the which command on AWS to check the install location, and also run AWS version to make sure it works. Next, we're going to create a user with the proper permissions so we can access the GameLift APIs from your computer. Head over to the IM section in the Amazon Web Console and hit Add User. Name it and only select Programmatic Access. We don't need this user to have Web Console permissions as it's only for using the AWS CLI for GameLift. Hit Next and select Attach Existing Policies Directly and hit Create Policy. Select GameLift for Service, then under Actions, Expand Read and check Describe Fleet Attributes, Describe Instances, and Get Instance Access. Then expand right and check Update Fleet Attributes and Update Port Settings. Then just select all resources for now and hit Review Policy. Name it and give it a description and hit Create. Copy the name of the policy and go back into the Add User view. Search for the new policy, select it, hit Next until a review page, and then hit Create. Important note here, if you're not familiar with how the access keys work, you will only have access to the secret keys here. So download the CSV file or hit show and copy these credentials somewhere safe. Open a terminal window and run AWS configure. Input the access key, secret key, default region, and JSON for output format. Using this configuration, you'll have access to only the actions allowed by the permissions we've signed to the policy in the previous section. Let's follow along with Amazon's instructions for connecting to a gameless server. We've pretty much covered all the prerequisites for this, so I think we can jump right in. Step one, find the ID of the GameLift instance using describe instances command. Switch over to your terminal and run GameLift describe instances command with fleet ID. This will give us the instance ID that we'll connect to. Step two, we need to request the access credentials to that instance using get instance access command. If you notice, I didn't run it correctly the first time, but referencing this note here, we can use the query and output flags to make the PEM file generation automatically properly formatted. Go back into the terminal and run gameless get instance access with fleet ID, instance ID, region, and then tack on the query and output flags and run it. Grab the query and output flags from the syntax example. So let's see how to use that. Okay, now we have our PEM file, we just have to set the correct permissions, so run chmod 400. Next, step three, we'll run the update fleet port settings command to allow us to SSH to the fleet instance. Input the fleet ID and the IP range, which I believe is your local IP, or you can just use the all zero IP range and then region. Now run that. Finally, step four, we'll SSH to the fleet instance. Run SSH with the PEM file, GL user remote, at the IP instance that we listed above. Hit yes when it prompts you to continue connecting. If everything went well, you should see the EC2 graphic. The logs are located at slash local games logs, so CD there. So in there, there are subfolders for all the instances that get generated when new game sessions are created. Let's go in there and run a tail 500F on the latest server log. So that's it. You can use these logs to debug your gameless server code, which should contain your print lines or the gameless system events. Thanks for watching.